Minette Batters is about to step down as the president of the National Farmers Union. Um, and she's, uh, she's taking the, or she's taken the time to give an interview to the Times in which she has lashed out at the, I, I think she's been, uh, she's seen five prime ministers, about 15 secretaries of state, and almost all of them, I think, uh, she's got a, um, she's got a word for and very few of those words are good I and mean, she's a principled and extraordinarily hard-working individual and she's done she's done really very well i think uh in a in a really hard time uh she's uh, scathing about boris johnson therese kofi she says must be the worst um she was singing karaoke while farms flooded and turkeys were catching avian flu uh the um, Liz Trust, she says, was, quote, truly awful. I assumed they would all be cleverer than me, but I couldn't believe how bad some politicians are. Quasi Quateng, remember him, remember him, he of the prodigious package, told me that he couldn't be a free marketer one day and ban Morrison's from being taken over by the Americans with their chlorine chicken the next. It was all or nothing. So I asked him, how brilliant this is. So I asked him, what would you do if a billionaire wanted to buy Stonehenge? He couldn't answer. Meanwhile, Jeremy Hunt, the man who made Spoonerism popular, told her, you'll have to excuse me, I don't know much about agriculture. And she explained to him, but you eat food. Um, she's, uh, she, she, she explains how she's burst into tears on a team's call when a senior civil servant didn't seem to care whether upland farmers had a future or not. Uh, I think she's been extraordinary. I think uh, we need people like her in, 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 in the national political um, forum. We need people like her in Parliament. She's, uh, she, she's clearly somebody who gets things done, and she's clearly somebody who worries about the... Um, uh, the moral realities, better food production, care for uh, the farmers, uh, care for the animals, care for planting trees, creating meadows, maintaining hedges, reducing flooding, producing food. She says, when I first became president, uh, there was talk of lab-grown meat and vertical farms, but I always thought that was for the birds. We already knew that ultra-processed food was bad for us. What we need is British produce cooked from scratch. And yet now we've got our first vertical farm. Um, almost, all, almost all farmers, she says, want to leave their land in a better state. Um, the right beaver in the right place can do a great job, so I'm not against their reintroduction. But in the wrong place, their dams can cause, flood, can cause chaos and flood communities. Lynx and wolves. So... You, you know, she's thinking about the right thing. Bringing wolves back on an island with 68 million people would end badly. A hungry wolf would delight in eating someone's pet dog and a wolf in German, uh, and a wolf would be in Birmingham before you know it. Not, but bringing in beavers, really good, really good in the right places. Um, you know, she's, uh, she's a positive influence. She says she voted against Brexit, but there are possibilities in going it alone. We have the best scientific research centres in the world, but once we've stopped producing, we will really struggle to start again, and we'll regret it forever. Do we want a safari park or a thriving rural economy? And that's the issue. You know, um, it's, it's not about whether you voted for or against Brexit. I voted against, of course. It's about whether or not you are prepared to put in the effort to make the current reality work. She is. I am. You are. But is the government? I don't think so. The government's too obsessed with its next Instagram message and with blaming somebody else for what they can't get right. Um, she says they don't appear to have a policy. Yeah, but they, they need to. Um... And, 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 and she talks about Labour. She says they're going to inherit food shortages, empty supermarket shelves. Only four years ago during the pandemic, ministers were promising me anything if farmers could keep food production going. You're only four meals away from anarchy, she says. This country should be producing more vegetables, fruit and pulses. 
we could grow almost all our own tomatoes and salad instead of importing them from Spain and Morocco. And yet we aren't. That I, I don't understand. I'm, I must say, I entirely agree with her. We should be planting bulbs. We should be harvesting bulbs. We should be using the surplus uh, workforce that we're keeping in hotels in uh, migrant limbo to help pick fruit, vegetables, bulbs to harvest. We can have a new land army to make things work. Our trade negotiations with Australia, New Zealand, they, as, as she points out, they walk all over us. Um, with India, we still don't know what will happen, she says. We did host the first food summit at Downing Street, but there's still no target for producing our own food. It's not, it's not that we should be producing trade deals which could not have been uh, anticipated before we left Europe. Yeah, that's fine, but we should be producing our own food. We should be doing our own thing. And heaven knows we've got, we've got the surplus um, staff to pick these things up. And they're sitting in hotels. If people want to come and work here, the best deterrent is you are going to work here. Not, we're going to send you to Rwanda. We're, you're going to work here, and you're going to work on farms until we, until we sort out what, um, what to do with you, until your ap ap application is approved or thrown out. And if it's thrown out, then you go out as well. It's perfectly reasonable. And we would have, we would have operated in much the same way during the Second World War. Indeed, during the Second World War, the land army kept us going. We need a new land army if we're going to save our farms. And that's the first thing we have to save in this country. We need to save our farms. We need to save our particular um, native breeds of sheep, of cattle. And we need to, um, we, we, we need to recognize that mucking out and macroeconomics are two uh, sides of the same coin.